Hi guys, David here from Rebel Machines. Uh, today we're going to go through the modeling process a little bit uh, as to how we got to this final result. As I mentioned before, there was a lot of time and effort that went into designing this in 3D first before we brought it into the real world. But it was an exciting process, it was a great process, and uh, we're very much looking forward to bringing this idea, this concept, to the real world, to life and ultimately out there to you guys so you guys can enjoy it, check it out, come into my world and I'll show you what we did and how we did it. All right guys, so here we are with our 3D model. To just kind of briefly show you the process, you know, that we go through in order to design and refine and, and just continually work at it until we get to the final design. We go through different iterations of splines that eventually start to make the shapes, that eventually start to become the, the molded pieces and ultimately we start to apply them to the body or the shell of this vehicle so we have a 3d model that we've designed and, and created for you know from scratch um, within the last couple of years we get to start playing with these pieces and start to kind of put them on there apply them and just see the general shape and outline the way it looks overall to give us that balance we're looking for and here you'll notice we have the hood scoop that we kind of studied a little bit to kind of get a better idea of how it felt, dimensions, uh, overall aesthetics, you know, trying to match the lines with the curves of the car. So once we get to that process uh, that we feel we're comfortable with uh, the way it looks, the way it feels, we take it into our overall model, which is this sucker right here. And as you can see, there is a ton of detail, a ton of uh, modeling that we have done uh, to this vehicle to make it look as close as possible to the real world. Um, you know, you see the wheels, the tires, the uh, suspension components, the interiors, uh, the chairs, um, dash, you know, we even get into this area here where we've modeled uh, the, the entire dash with the, the tape player and the steering wheel and the buttons. So it's amazing. It's a lot of work, but it's, uh, you know, it's well worth it because ultimately we're trying to produce something here in the 3D world that looks good, that works before we go into the real world. Um, and trying to keep the mistakes and errors down to a very minimal level. Um, so as you can see, the complete package is here. We have our fenders put on there, we have our hood scoop put on there, and we have you know the general idea of the vehicle. We have our suspension components, etc. Once we have taken it to a good level here, the next step is to go and take it to a 3D, a completed 3D rendering uh, experience. So ultimately we go and start to apply specific colors and materials and textures and to try to get an overall concept that we want to build that looks good, that starts to uh, include the colors that we're looking for specifically. So for example, this project is Project Rainier and we are featuring a, uh, a Porsche color that's exclusive to the GT3, um, which is called a Ration Green. But we're going to make it our version a little bit and give it a little twist and add a little metallic flake to it. Um, that we feel would go well with a V1. So to give you different perspectives of the vehicle itself, you know, the way it looks in the rear, the tires, the wheel package, and ultimately here from the front, you, know, you have another view of the vehicle itself, the way the hood scoop works with the car, the way the fender flares work. Once we're happy with this stage, once we're happy with everything and the way it looks, then obviously we take it to the real world and we are gonna continue to follow up on that process until we're done with those pieces. Once we're done with those pieces, we're gonna take this car and those pieces to the body shop and start basically the paint process. After that, we will go into the interior and figure things out from there. But for now, we have uh, a game plan, we have a strategy, and this project is gonna be one badass project that we have seen tons of activity and tons of interest uh, in, on the internet. Now we're gonna take the car to the shop and uh, start that process with the, the wide wheel fender flares. They're gonna have to analyze the vehicle, uh, walk around with me to kind of get a general idea of what I want these things to look like. They're going to receive some images, uh, they're going to receive some emails with some, you know, some renderings and some photos of the, the project itself. And we're going to fine tune this sucker until it's done and finesse you know, properly. And then once we're done with that, we're going to take it from the shop and go to the next step. Okay guys, so there's the car. Uh, we're about to take it now to the shop to get that custom bodywork looked into. So here we are with the challenge today. We're looking to redesign these flares. They're going to be wider, about two or three inches. They're going to go from all the way here down to this portion here and these guys will be removed to make it more feasible. They should bring about two or three inches out of the flares and allow for the bigger tires. We're going to look to design something that goes here and here while removing these guys as well. So we'll see what happens. It's going to be a fun journey. Hopefully the end result will be very cool, very exciting. It'll be something that we can put together for the future. All right guys, so that was the 3D modeling rendering process. We hope you enjoyed it. So we had a blast showing you guys. As far as the vehicle itself, we have taken it to the shop and uh, we're gonna hang tight until they give us a phone call back 
to let us know that they have an update. We cannot wait to go see those guys and see if they actually have hit all the marks that we're looking for. In the meantime, check us out on Instagram because that's usually where we hang out the most. We have videos, pictures, and more updates coming your way. So follow along as this story unfolds because it's going to be an exciting one for you and hopefully uh, for everybody else out there because we are excited as well. See you guys next time and uh, see you then.